everyone welcome again and today in this video i'm going to show you demonstration of uh, another spring boot project and the project name is inventory management system so um, there are different roles first uh, before starting the project demo let's discuss about the tools and technology and the backend framework that we are using so we are using here the spring boot and uh, jsp for the front end the jsp is also using just gl html css uh, like HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Uh, apart from that, it's using Hibernate, JPA, and MySQL to store the database. Hibernate, JPA, and MySQL. Uh, it's using uh, MySQL database to store the information, running over the Tomcat server. And uh, apart from that, it's a Maven application, and uh, it's a we are managing the Maven application here, the dependencies here under the pom.xm. Okay, so uh, if you need the source code, this source code after watching this demonstration, you can connect with us with the CodeWin team and we'll do the complete setup at your machine and we'll also help you to set up the project at your machine. So you can buy it and I uh, it's a paid project. So just watch the demo after buy this and once the team will done the configuration, you have to follow this demo in order to execute this application. So here, uh, let's say I'm on my Eclipse, it's using Eclipse as an IDE. So I'm in Eclipse and I'm going to run this uh, runner file. So when you right click on it, go to run it, run it as a Java application. When you see at the very first, <coughs> it will start the Tomcat server, Spring Boot will start the server. And once you see the message Tomcat is started on a specific port number, currently it's using port number 8080. Yeah, this is the message that you need, need to verify and then go to the resources, go to the application or property and we have created a custom URL here. Just copy this URL, open it at your real time browser. You will see the output over there. Let's move to the backend thing and we have user table, product table, payment, order table and the categories. So five tables are there. When you move to the user table, what you will see, you will see different things over there too different types of role in this application about the user so we have admin user and we have a different user okay so the user will be customer and admin will be the admin user that's going to manage the application so here in my browser i can see the clearly output of the application so here we have a home page and sign up page and login page when i click go to the sign up page and i fill up the details and uh, submit the form um, it will register successfully a new record and when I refresh my user table into the database you will see a new record as a uh, user okay now let's log in as an admin first and see what admin can do over there and then we'll move to the other users so I'm just going to log in as an admin so I just enter username for the admin and the password for the admin when I hit the login, it's allowing me to log in. So what admin can do, admin can add a new user by playing of this form. Admin also can check the list of all the registered user. It means the customers, admin can edit them by clicking on this. Let's say I want to edit the name of this user and it's updated successfully now. And when I go to the user list again, you can see the X tile over there. Also, if admin wants, admin can delete this user by clicking on this button. So when I hit this button, the user is deleted successfully. Now into the category section, the admin can add a new category. Let's say I'm going to add new category. Now I'm just adding the dummy content. You can use while you're using it your, at your, your side, your um, machine, you can add the meaningful data according to a requirement. So it can be a product category. So I under the new category, I added one car that is a blue car and I click to the eight. So this category is added successfully. When I view the list of categories, you will see the new category here. And uh, uh, you can say here, when I click on this category list, you will see uh, under this category section, when I click on the batteries, it will redirect to me on the product that is related to this category okay so every category have some project but this category doesn't have any project so it's showing the product list is empty so let's add a new product under this category so i'm going to add a new product so let's say new product 
quantity let's say 50 articles we have and a price for a single article is 500 and uh, select the category so i'm going to add this new category i'm going to choose an image so let's say on my desktop we have uh, some dummy images so i'm going to just select this image okay screenshot three added this image so we have under the category now we have the one product so when i click on the product list you will see all the product will display here also i have an option to edit this uh, uh, products and i have an option to delete those options these these products apart from that into the category section also we have option but also i can filter the data when i click on a specific category it will give me a list of the product into the order section i can add a new order as an admin or it will automatically face the detail of the user that's going to add the order after that i can select the product so let's say i want to buy this new product and let's say i want to how many units i need so i need a two unit currently if you see into the product list um, we have 50 unit for this product so i want to buy out of 52 and i want to do order to pay so i need to enter the card details i select the expiry dates and automatically the price is calculated uh, like the each product part pr price of the each product will be 500 so we have selected two articles so we have the prices multiply by two and it's automatically calculated from the back end by the spring pool and here we are getting the total price when I hit the pay button it's a payment is done now we go to here into the payment list this will be display over here as an admin i have an option to cancel the order or delete the, this if i cancel it it will be display me like this as a cancelled so let's say i'm going to cancel this when i hit the cancel this order is cancelled okay apart from that we have the view profile section so admin can update its on profile and hit the logout button now <clears throat> what a user can do over there so first thing user can sign up so let's say I'm going to go I'm going to sign up with this new user and when I check the database I will see a new record over there. I'm going to log into this user now and I'm going to show you how the user can operate the application. So I just log in here, I just enter the password and the username for this user. Click on the sign in button, yeah, save it. So under the category section, I can check the list of categories. So recently we have added this new category. So I click on this new category and the product is displaying here again if i go to the product list i can check this product is coming here here into the order list i can add a new order so i select the product here they say uh, currently if i check the list of uh, order list it will not show me any order over there so let's say i'm going to add a new order so let's say for s23 ultra and unit Okay, one more thing, uh, when I go to the product list, uh, okay, S23 Ultra and unit, let's say I want to know one unit, click pay in order, card, and it's automatically calculated the price and the payment is done and it will display now to me here. As an user, I didn't, I don't have an option to delete any record, uh, but I can cancel this order. Okay, we have this option. Then again, I'm going to log in as an admin and I will show you it's reducing the total quantity as well. So it's following all the validations that uh, we need to follow in case of zero order or in case of the order is not there, like the number of product is not available into the database. So it will display us a error. So let's say I'm going to move to the product list. So here we have added two order, two uh, product, uh, 50 product and out of 50, we have bought already two products. So now it's showing 58 only. For S23 Ultra, now it's showing S uh, like, like 947, the price of this. So it's automatically reducing from the back end. Okay, so it's all about the uh, demonstration about the in inventory management system. I'm going to repeat the technical things again. It's using MySQL as a database and um, now we are operating this database onto the MySQL workbench and we are using Eclipse as a IDE uh, as a core technology is using Java Spring Boot and uh, managing the resources and, a in, 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 and that is following the MBC architecture we have a configuration package controller DAO DTO exceptions form services utilities 
application dot property file maven file to manage the maven dependencies for the front end things we have web app under the web app we have resources and we have a jsp file css and tiles.xml different css are there and uh, we have layouts so it's using under the jsp it's using html css um, jsp okay so if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp or the mail and just don't feel free to connect and have inquiry about the source code and services we are providing over there so it will help you to set up the project at your machine as well as will explain you in case you need uh, explanation of the internal source code how the things are working we'll explain that as well thank you